Hello guys, so we are going to discuss today about decision making and we our topic is keep or drop decision. Actually, we, we studied in decision making like uh, how to decide make or buy decision or how to decide which product we should buy, we should make, how to calculate the cost of special order, different things we have discussed. So this decision is about keep or drop decision. So in simple word, it is also disinvestment decision. Like for example, if you have already made certain investments, maybe you are already producing certain product or you are running a product line, maybe you are running a business segment, maybe you are running a branch or you are maybe uh, any investment which you already had. So now we are going to decide about disinvestment decision. Disinvestment decision mean to say, should we withdraw or should we sell that investment or should we discontinue that product or, sh or should we discontinue that product line business segment or branch so this investment decision uh, are opposite of capital budgeting decisions so what it means so the so these are decisions to terminate rather than start a business our product okay so these decisions are to terminate like we are going to decide here should we discontinue the product or not so for this what we are going to do so we are going to simply calculate cost and benefit analysis so we will calculate so what you will lose if you will discontinue and what you will gain if you will discontinue the product or product line so this is called cost and benefit analysis and at the end we will compare the loss with the gain or simply loss with the benefit and we will see if net benefit is there like for example if you will discontinue maybe it will give you some benefit or maybe it will increase your operating income then we will discontinue the product line but if there is a loss for example if you will discontinue so you your operating loss will increase in that scenario we will keep that product line or the product okay so this is the decision we are going to talk about so here we go how it is going to work so we will follow simply here incremental approach what is incremental approach so here we, we i'll go through each line and i'll explain so what we are doing we are as i told you we are doing here cost and benefit analysis so simply it is also called marginal analysis so the keep or drop decision can be made using the incremental approach. What is incremental approach? Under this approach, so we will calculate what you will lose if you will discontinue and what you will gain if you will discontinue that product line. Understood? And I'm going to tell you here, so first point here. So this is what is going to be your benefit if you will discontinue. So what is benefit here? So fixed cost savings. These are savings, fixed cost. Maybe previously you were paying rent of the factory. If you will discontinue uh, the product line or the factory, so maybe this fixed cost can be saved. So this is going to be your benefit. So or maybe you previously you were paying insurance for the plant and machinery, uh, which you were using to manufacture the product. But if you will discontinue uh, the product line, so maybe you can sell these plant and machinery and insurance cost can be saved. So this is also again going to be your benefit. So what we are going to do, first we will calculate fixed cost saving. Okay, so fixed cost savings are the fixed cost avoidable if segment is discontinued. So like what, which kind of fixed cost you can save, uh, which are avoidable or for avoidable means if you will discontinue that, discontinue that segment, so these costs can be avoided. Understood? So you have to check which cost or how many fixed costs can be saved if you will discontinue and this will be written as benefit benefit means you will write as a positive values okay so this is your first cash flows relevant cash flows fixed cost savings as i give you example it could be rent it could be insurance anything then this is actually is about your loss like what you will lose second point is about loss what you will lose if you will discontinue the product. For example, here you will calculate what? Lost contribution margin. Contribution margin, I hope so you know, it is always equal to sales less variable cost. That is called contribution margin. So obviously if you will discontinue the product or the product line, so maybe you may lose 
some contribution margin on this product or maybe you may lose the contribution margin on an on other product why what it means on other product for example maybe you are producing product a okay and you are also producing product b so maybe sometime customers they are coming to buy your product a and at the same time they are also buying product b now if you will discontinue the product a maybe here you can also lose cont contribution margin and maybe you can also lose contribution margin on other product also so if if you are losing any contribution margin even on the product which you are going to discontinue or on any other product so that is going to be your lost contribution so this will be written as loss sometime guys you know what will happen now i'm explaining this point so these two points i have already explained now there is another point which i'm going to explain sometime for example maybe if you will discontinue the product a okay it may increase the sale of product b maybe product b is the close substitutes for a okay if it will if you will discontinue the product a and it increases the sale of product b so then what will happen so you are not losing contribution margin uh, on other product now because b is other product so you are gaining contribution margin so if you are gaining contribution margin then it will be written under benefit as a positive value please remember loss will always be written as a negative and benefit will always be written as a positive value okay and then we will calculate the net benefit or net loss okay so this is what is written if sale if sales of one division would increase with the discontinuation of the segment for example this is what they are telling you if you will discontinue product a here you may lose contribution margin which is going to be loss but this discontinuation may increase the sale of other product and their contribution margin can be increased if the contribution margin is increasing on other product so this is called gained contribution so gain contribution margin is included in the incremental approach as benefit. So now this is what we are going to do and we will go through with the help of example how it is going to work. So we have a first question here. For example, JF company is considering eliminating the product X. Please remember product X we are going to eliminate. If the product X is eliminated, the sales of product Y will decrease by 10%. So here it means guys, here you are losing contribution margin on the product Y also. And obviously if you are earning any contribution margin of the product X that you will also lose because you are going to discontinue. So these are two points. So first you are going to discontinue product X. If you are earning any contribution margin on that, that you will lose, but it will also affect the sale of product Y. So sale of product Y will decrease by 10%. It means you will lose contribution margin by 10% on Y. Here we have other data. So here we have a data about product X, product Y and product Z. So here we have a sales of each product. We have variable cost of each product you can see here. And we have a fixed cost of each product also. And here you got operating income of the product X. Product X is generating 80,000 of loss for you. Uh, because when you will take sale, less variable cost, less fixed cost. So this is going to be operating income. Product Y is having operating income or positive value for you, 130,000. And product Z is having a value of 90,000 for you. Now, what they're telling you there, please remember, you are going to discontinue the product X. Agreed? This is what you are going to discontinue. But here it told you product Y sale will also decrease by 10%. Now we have a question here. They're saying fixed cost include under a thousand. So these are fixed cost of each product. So they're saying the fixed cost include a hundred thousand dollar of allocated corporate cost assigned to each product. What is allocated corporate cost? It is simply like <laughs> a cost of head office. Okay, corporate cost is cost of head office. And by the way, cost of head office is not relevant. The reason is that if you will discontinue the product X, it doesn't mean you will shut down the head office also, right or wrong. So it means when you discontinue one product, so it is not going to affect the cost of head office. Okay, so that is why head office cost is allocated to each product. But please remember these uh, allocated corporate cost or head office cost are irrelevant because if you will discontinue one product, it doesn't mean you will shut down your operations in head office also, right? So that is why it is irrelevant. So this 100,000 you have to remove from the fixed cost and then you have to take decision. Now we are applying guys. This is the data of cost entry layer. 
now we are applying a uh, incremental approach and we we are trying to calculate here cost and benefit analysis so number one first of all if you will look at here i'm going to tell you the product x i'm going to talk about so if you will look at your product x what is the contribution for product x because if you will close the product x so you will lose contribution margin on product x also okay whatever you are earning now product x contribution was how much so sales value is 500000 we will write it here and we will deduct variable cost from that so this is the contribution margin 220000 so this you will lose if you are losing obviously it should be written as negative value so this is the first thing you will lose second thing he told you if you will discontinue the product x you will also lose a sale on the product y by 10 percent now the point is it means in simple words you will lose a sale on product y by 10 percent mean to say you will lose contribution margin on product y also as well by 10 percent so it means now we will, we should calculate contribution margin on product y so you will also lose contribution margin on product y but 10 percent contribution margin so first calculate contribution margin on product y how you will calculate you will take sale value minus variable cost so 800,000 minus 350,000 whatever answer you will get multiply by 10 percent so this is the contribution lost on product y so because this you are going to lose again it will be written as negative value now what benefit you will get so he told you here obviously the fixed cost saving would be your benefit which fixed cost only on the product x not on y not on z the reason is that because product x you are going to discontinue so that is why the fixed cost on product x will be saved so this is going to be your benefit so what is the fixed cost 300,000 and make sure in these 300,000 please remember we have 100,000 allocated corporate costs so those 100,000 should be removed because head office is not going to close with this product so it means fixed cost relevant is how much? 300,000 minus 100,000. So now guys, so it is going to give you 200,000 as your benefit. And benefit you will write as a positive because fixed cost would be saved if you will discontinue. And now you will get here a final increase or decrease in the operating income if product X were eliminated. So if you will look at here, so these two are your loss value. You will add this and deduct this value. A benefit value so obviously guys so do you will get what here uh negative sixty five thousand. it means if you will discontinue the product x your operating income will decrease by sixty five thousand. and please remember if you have a net loss as you can see here is you have a net loss okay sixty five thousand. please remember in that this is important point now so if you have a net loss or decrease in operating income if you will discontinue the product if you have a net loss net loss if you will discontinue the product so in that scenario in that scenario please you should keep that product our product line so this should be your decision so here you have a net loss of 65,000 it means your operating income is decreased by 65,000 if you will eliminate the product X so it means here you should what should be your decision you should keep the product X to avoid this loss now we have a same question guys here, same question we are seeing and we are just making small changes here. What is the small changes here? We have a same data, like for example, we are planning to eliminate product X, okay? But if you will eliminate the product X, so what will happen? What will happen here? The product Y sale will decrease by 10% and then we have this data, then you have this data, the fixed cost include 100,000 of allocated corporate cost but with this information we have now additional point here what is the additional point this is the additional point here with that information now we're assuming the only change to the situation is that like rest of the question is the same now we have additional point so is that eliminating the product x like if you will eliminate the product x would cause a 25 percent increase in the sales of product z so what happened here you if you will eliminate product x Y contribution margin will decrease by 10%, but Z contribution margin will increase by 25%. Because sales increase, sales means increase in contribution. Understood? So these effects, now this effect you also will include into the question. So what we will do, same we are doing here. First of all, you have to calculate lost contribution on product X. Product X sales were 
sales was 500,000. It is given in the product X column and variable cost was 280,000. So sale minus variable cost, this is the contribution you will lose. So this is your loss. That is why you are writing, uh, you, are, you will write as negative. Then you will also uh, lose 10% contribution margin on product Y. So product Y I'm solving now, 800,000 was the sale of product Y, 350,000 uh, was the variable cost of product Y. And because you will lose, or your sale will decrease by 10%, so we will multiply with 10%. So 800,000 minus 350, it will give you contribution margin, multiply by 10%, this you will also lose. This is your loss for you. So that's why you will write negative. Then you can save uh, the fixed cost on the product X. Do you remember? Uh, total fixed cost of product X uh, was 300,000 and which includes 100,000 uh, for allocated corporate cost. So it means 200,000 was there, which is relevant to the uh, product X and this 200,000 can be saved. So that is where this 200,000 is written as positive as benefit. Now we have a one more point to accommodate that is the product Z because here he told you product Z sale will increase by 25%. So it means product Z contribution margin will increase by 25%. So we have to calculate now product Z contribution margin. Now this is the sale value product Z minus variable cost like 1 million minus 460,000. So 540,000 will be your total contribution and multiply by 25%. Multiply by 25%. So this is the sale value product Z. This is the variable cost of product Z. So sale minus variable cost will give you a contribution margin and you will multiply with the 25% because product Z sale will increase. It means contribution margin will increase. So this is going to be your benefit. So that is why you have to write as a positive value. So now you have a two losses and two benefits. If you will do plus minus, so final answer you will get as a positive value. And this positive means a profit. It means here increase in operating income if the product X is eliminated. If you will eliminate the product X, then you will get 70,000 increase in operating income. Please remember whenever answer is positive. Positive means say it is the increase in operating income if you will discontinue the product. So please remember whenever answer is positive, in that scenario we should discontinue because this is the benefit which you will get if you will discontinue the product. I hope so it is clear guys. This is how you will deal with the a keep or drop decision. I hope so it is clear.